this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts to show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Putnam Perry. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Try to establish that jab. That's a big strike right there. Clean left punch followed by the right. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Right hand upstairs. Nice kick. Landed that left hook. 
Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big all punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that left hook. Head kick. How good is that right hand? Head off the center line, slips the punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Good jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, nice. Oh, huge spinning kick. Nice punch by Perry. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Plans the right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Swing and a big miss by Lee. He is all about that left kick to the body. No give on that leg kick. Right hand landed. Nice kick there by Lee. Superman punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch land. Ooh. Whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Nice leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. It's 
such a fast leg kick. Blocks the shot. Straight punch lands. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Perry's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. The low kick is there. Go! Goes back to that left kick once again. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Find that precise range with the high kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Nice straight punch. Real quick leg kick. Right left combo by Lou. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. <laughs> Leg kick checked by Lee. Let me see that hook now. Right punches there. <laughs> nice leg kick lands. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. No wasted motion on those kicks. There's no tail. Nice punch there by Perry. There's no tail on that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Nice one, two there. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Seconds left. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. And the horn sounds on round two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much and Given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicked. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Checks that leg kick. Harry's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Punch over the top. Leg kick lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Big head kick lands. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, and just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Wow, huge head kick. Big leg kick lands. Big shot land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Right hand on point. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Perry. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice punch there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Perry gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, Perry gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force.
visibly limping here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustments. Beautiful kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He blocks the punch. Going for the leg kick, he misses. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Nice loop and punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Look at the wrist action that comes from him throwing that kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, Perry gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Oh, nice right hand counter. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You don't know when that leg kicks up. Back and forth we go. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Big leg kick lands. Just missed with the left there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, man, that, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Under a minute to go. Big punch lands through the middle. Looking to land the right just out of range. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice head kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just unable to quite find that range. That was a thudding leg kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big head kick lands. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. What a punch. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. right hand lands upstairs. Right hand upstairs. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Never looked this good. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Nice right hand. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt named Danny Corbin. <laughs> Beautiful body kick. Able to check the high kick. Big kick lands. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything slot. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Back and forth we go. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Beautiful punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Shots, and if you take one of them, they can end the night that one land right on the spot. 
Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the ice. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. into these big leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Well, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. I mean, that right hand landed square. Wait, what a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do 